Technology has increased the pace and pressures of modern work life, but it's a double-edged sword in that it's also helped us with simplifying and automating tasks. Here are six tech-based study hacks that can help you with surviving a Master of Social Work degree. Hack number one, try a task tracking app. You can stay on top of your to-do list with the help of a list making app. Some good examples of this are Google Keep and Apple Notes. Once you've added your tasks to the app of your choice, you can then add some colors and also labels to help you with organizing them. Some apps will also allow you to add checkboxes so you can tick off items as you complete them. One of the great features of these apps is that they also sync with your desktop and browser. So wherever you are, you can always access your information. Hack number two, use a Pomodoro timer. Are you taking too many breaks or not taking enough? Either way, you could probably benefit from using a Pomodoro timer. The Pomodoro technique allows you to organize your time according to set intervals. So it's as simple as this. You work for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break. And then after four rounds of this, you take a 15 minute break. Pomodoro timers can be bought in physical form, or you can just as easily download a smartphone or web-based app. Hack number three, take your group work to the next level. If you're doing group work, you may benefit from using the computer and phone app Trello. Using this app, you can break down complex assignments into individual tasks. These tasks are represented as cards, which can then be organized into columns. Each task can be assigned a group member's name, and you can also set reminders for upcoming due dates. When brainstorming, you may wanna try using a virtual whiteboard like Google Jamboard. If you need to work collaboratively at the same time on the same document, try Google Docs. Finally, when planning group activities, you can avoid schedule clashes by getting each member to list their availability on a doodle poll. Hack number four, communicate and community build online. Are you sick of emailing? Maybe it's time you tried a group instant messaging app like GroupMe, or if you need end-to-end -end encryption, WhatsApp. The other option is Slack. With Slack, you can create persistent chat rooms all under one account. Each room is organized using a subject in the form of a hashtag. These features can be quite handy when you're community building, when you're sharing resources or ideas, or when you're organizing on campus. Hack number five, lift your grammar game. If you're using the standard grammar and spelling check, chances are you're not catching every typo. Grammarly offers an extra layer of proofreading protection and it's available as a browser extension, a Microsoft Office plugin, and as a standalone desktop app. You can use Grammarly for free, but there is also a paid version that offers a raft of additional features such as automatic plagiarism detection. Hack number six, jazz up your presentations. Slideshow presentations don't have to be tedious. The website SlidesGo hosts a variety of snazzy templates that are free to use and easy to customize. Each SlidesGo template comes with unique design elements, such as icons and graphics. These can be added and adjusted with just a few clicks. If the idea of changing your current workflow intimidates you, my advice is to start small. Use just one of the hacks I've mentioned here. Give yourself enough time to get used to it, and then see if you can notice any improvements. By using these tech tweaks, it's my hope that you will save yourself both time and effort. If you enjoyed this video, check out my blog post or any of the other links listed below. And please remember to like, hit the bell icon, and subscribe.